Okay, everyone, we're back with the Shark Powered Lift Away 0M and the Dyson Ball Animal 2. Today, we're going to be vacuuming the upstairs. I've had the Shark for about 10 days now in my house, and I've been using it, and I haven't used any other vacuums besides the little Shark Stick vacuum, the corded one. I'm really interested to see just how much dirt has been left in the carpet. We're going to go over with the Shark first, and then we're going to go back over with the Dyson to see what was left. So without further ado, let's get started right now. Right. So we're going to turn on the shark. The brush roll is on the highest speed without turning the uh, opening the suction port. Looking for agitating. I don't see any. You can see how it pulls the dirt in before it gets to it. A really good suction and airflow on this shark. It just doesn't agitate as well as the Dyson. Even though what does? <laughs> Only like a thousand plus dollar Recar or a Kirby has the agitating power of the Dyson ball. You can just hear all the dirt. Still the fine dust starting to build up in the bin. Hopefully that doesn't impede the view of the second camera. All right, let's go this way now. Come on. It won't really clean much more against that edge. It does really good with edges on carpets, but not really on hard floors. Sorry, edges on hard floors, it's good. Carpets, no. Come on now. It is doing a good job of grooming. Let's go right here. To avoid the cat threw up over here and I completely forgot to clean it up with the carpet cleaner, so. Yay me. See the hair starting to build up. It's doing a really good job, I will say. Look at this. Look at this. You just hear all the kitty litter, the dirt, and the pet hair. We're not going into any of the bedrooms or the office or anything. We're just going and going to be cleaning the main areas of carpet. We're not going to clean into here since the Dyson won't fit in there. We're just going to clean up to but not into. has been moved a little bit. There we go, I readjusted it. We'll say the brush roll on the shark does groom extremely well. You can see there's some piece of fur or hair right there, whatever that was. 
not sure, but the shark got it really, really easily. The shark does do a good job of lifting and grooming the carpets. Just hear more and more dirt come out of the carpet. Because I picked up and shook that rug all over the room. When I picked it up from under the litter pan. Where I know the Dyson will find stuff is on the edges. The Dyson's edge cleaning is really, really good. But the shark does an also really good job. One thing that the shark can do that the Dyson can't is the shark can have the power to lift away so it can fit under stuff that the Dyson just wouldn't be able to fit under. Both of them are sealed systems with HEPA filters, so I'm not concerned about the filtration of either. They both do a good job at keeping dirt and dander out of the air. Look at the difference in the carpet after cleaning clean. shark has been able to find a lot of hair as you can see I vacuumed like what was it a couple days ago maybe you just hear there's still more dirt coming out of the carpet this hallway, you'll be able to see on my second camera angle just how much hair is in the carpet. It's pretty freaking incredible, I will say. Vin is just piling, piling with pet hair. incredible what the machine is doing with the dirt whoa the other thing that the shark has that the Dyson doesn't is the shark has the, the uh, anti-tangle brush roll no Dyson upright can do that right now that I'm aware of okay sorry the camera fell into the front of the vacuum. Probably should have spent more time really securing it. See just how good of a job it is doing. I'm not going into the hard floors. We're gonna stop on the carpet, right here, make sure to get that corner. I think that's basically it. So let's examine the results of that video, of this video. Oh, let's see. 
a second to uh, remove my second camera. All right, so the second camera's off. Let's see what's in the bin. As you can tell, a really big amount of pet hair. A whole bunch of kitty litter, dirt, and dust. That is really incredible. And you can see the filter's not even that bad. I mean, there's some dust on it, but it's not too shabby at all. There's a weird kitty down here playing with the back of the camera stand. So that's good. You can see the brush roll. Let's quickly check the brush roll. I don't see any hairs on it. This vacuum's kind of heavy, so I don't want to be like holding it when it's almost ready to fall over. But anyways, see here's the weirdo. You're not getting my microphone. No, you're not gonna chew on that. No chew allowed. You're just so cuckoo. But anyways, this shark did a pretty good job of cleaning, as you can see by all of the pet hair that's in the bin. So we'll be right back with the Dyson ball and we're gonna see just what was left in the carpet. I will see you very soon. Goodbye.